that's right everybody i'm doing kind of an impromptu video here i have decided to sell the anmar vio 80 it's a 2014 model and it's actually sitting here on a job site that i recently did i just want to do a quick little go over let you guys see it see how clean i keep it this is a really really tight machine let's go ahead and jump in it i'll show you the hours start it up for you and we'll go from there this machine hasn't been started today so this is going to be a cold start but full disclosure it's about 70 degrees <laughs> so it's not really really a cold start see the engine's cold so it just started right up this machine does not smoke Actual hours are 3,986.1. CB mounted inside for communication with dump trucks. Rubber is good on the floor mats. Handles are solid. Joysticks are solid. The rubber on this button has deteriorated as well as the button there. Controls for the hydraulic quick coupler. Speaker for the CB. All the buttons are good shape. I recently had a lot of work done to the AC. It works really well as well as the heat. This actually works for adjusting the temperature. This is just a switch that I had in here when I was manually turning the AC compressor fan off and on, but it is fixed and working automatically this joystick is good the door doesn't rattle around or anything it's solid hinges are good Let's give y'all a quick overall of the cab window breaker this machine is tinted with a ceramic tint. No bubbling or cracking. As I mentioned, seat cover. I guess I should. Just real quick, show y'all at this boom. pins and bushings are just as tight as they were when I bought this machine at 1500 hours the blade all the pins and bushings on it are tight plenty of power to lift this machine that's it in idle. That air conditioner will freeze you out of this thing. Let's see if I can show you. This door latches solid. When it shuts, it's solid. No rattling. You got little things like this on these rubber gaskets, but the door does seal. Doesn't matter how hard it rains, this thing is watertight. If I worked a long day, I would grease this thing every eight to 10 hours if I was working in dry conditions, if I'm going into sandy or water 
like a pond dredging or something, I would tend to grease it more often. But regardless, almost every morning, I would just give it a touch of grease, even if I hadn't reached that eight to 10 hour time frame. Recent upgrades I made a video of, the front idler and rear sprockets are nearly new. Hold my finger up so y'all can see. Gear oil recently changed. These tracks, they get chewed up pretty good. But you can see they're still in good shape. I would say, guessing, I would say guessing that these tracks have 500 to 1,000 hours on them. I lift and twist a lot, so I'm not spinning on the tracks and wearing them. See that sprocket's in good shape. Tracks don't have any major cuts in them. I've recently checked those bottom idlers and they're firm and tight. They don't have any play. And it feels like when you turn on that you're turning something pretty stiff, like it's running through molasses. The top rollers, they're fairly new within a thousand hours. Get a little spot to keep your tools. And again, I try to keep my machinery clean. This bucket will go with this machine. The teeth are fairly new. Right now I've got them bolted on. I didn't like the type of pins that tag, which is the brand, a bucket. Thumbs in good shape. I had this welded in for reinforcement. Hydraulic quick coupler, it works really well. Auxiliary hydraulics for running the brush mower, which will go with this machine. I'll show you it in the video. You just hook it up, turn these valves, and it, turning that valve diverts flow from going through here to there. Tight machine. That's the AC dripping right there. Here's where you grease the turntable and everything. pattern changer for this machine is right under here. Super easy switch over. Real quick for giggles, we'll climb up on top. Let's see if I, oh, spider webs. Dale's thing's been sitting here for a day or so. Sunroof is good. It doesn't leak. Now the lights, that one and the one that's on the boom, I do not have working right now. The mount for the light, that's where the boom light originally mounted. I took it off. I just never work at night. Didn't need it. But the wiring is there if you want to put one in it as well as a spot for two lights there. That's the overview of the machine itself. This thing has zero leaks, really not even seeps. There, there's, there's no fluid coming out of this thing. That's one thing I can't stand in a machine is a leak or a seep of any kind. On the engine, nothing. This thing is dry as a bone. Now in the next segment of this video, I'll be going over the other attachments that are going to get to go with this guy. Now that we're back up the house, let me show you these attachments. Here is the TAG 48 inch tilt grading bucket. 
just to explain real quickly once i get out of the way why this looks like there's been some leaking of fluid there was i had to have one of the hoses replaced this one because it started leaking and had to get that fixed no more leak it's got dual tilt cylinders and it'll tilt from here to about like this to either side it's not a full 90 but it'll tilt most of the way that's the two foot butt digging bucket that's sophie helping me show everything off yeah show them how the bucket works good job that's how you do it this is the 60 inch bushmaster rotary mower it's got two blades it's really good for up to about four inch five inch material if it's softwoods if it's hardwoods i wouldn't push it much over three in a production speed the hoses are in really good shape there's not really many nicks or anything Let's see if y'all can see this one it's just that outside a little bit there's a couple of spots like that all in all they're in really good shape protective sleeve quick couplers and obviously i don't beat the ever living tar out of my stuff this one's been taken really good care of the motor solid and it's still well balanced the the blades are well used but they will still do the job did i, did I forget something well that's it for the package deal if you guys have any questions drop it in the comments apparently we're cutting in to me and Sophie's daddy-daughter day. Gotta run.